Hi everyone, welcome to Total Body Conditioning with Shane Staley. Grab some weights if you have them, a set of heavy, medium, and light would be ideal. A mat, a towel, some water. Make sure you modify anything you need to today. For today's workout, we have two chunks. Inside of each chunk, we have three exercises. We're gonna perform three times, followed by an ab exercise and a cardio exercise that we're gonna do once. So that's one chunk. We're gonna do two chunks, just like that. And let's get started. Total body, open those feet a little wider than your hips. Let's start with some windmill arm circles forward. Just take a little time to loosen up. Bring a little more consciousness to your breath, breathing in through your nose and out your mouth. Reverse and circle the other way. Good, give me some easy twists, right and left, shoulders soft, belly in, we're here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Open your feet wide, bring your arms to a T, bend your right knee, reach for the floor, Come back up to stand. We're gonna go to the right again. This time keep your legs straight. Right arm reaches to the sky. Take a twist and come back up to stand. All of that on the left. Left knee bends. Come up to stand. Legs long, right arm down, left arm high. Twist and come up to stand. Keep it going. Right knee bends. Up to stand. Twist right, reach and twist. Up to stand. Left knee bends. Up to stand, twist left, reach and twist. Up to stand, four more. Bend and stretch, twist and stand. Bend and stretch, twist and stand. Last two and stretch, twist and stand. Last one and stretch, twist, and stand. Heels in, toes out, take some rocks, come on down into a squat, push your knees open wide with your elbows. Let's turn this into a wide-legged forward fold, toes and heels out, fold forward. Let your hips and torso shift a little bit side to side. That might trickle into your neck and head. Just find some space, some release. Come back to center with your torso, bend your knees deeply. Opening up ankles, knees and hips, stretch those legs. Two more like that, deep bend. And stretch. One more deep bend. And stretch, roll all the way up to stand. Let's jog it out. Nice and easy to start. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Good, jacks with the chest stretch, pull those elbows back. Try and stretch across your chest. Warm up those back muscles. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, good, one more time, jog it out. 10, nine, eight, maybe get those heels a little higher up towards your butt. Six, five, four, three, two, good, jacks with a chest stretch. 10, nine, warming up those shoulders here, two, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, excellent. Shake it out, catch your breath. Toes forward, elbows in. Let's take a squat to a reach. Give me a nice deep squat, think elbows to knees. Right arm reaches over, try and push into that right foot, stretch that right side long. Other way, squat. Left arm reaches over, push into that left foot, stretch that left arm. Good, keep it going. Squat, big reach, no rush. Squat, big reach, let's go for four more. 
four, and stretch, three, and stretch, two, and stretch, last one. Take it down into a squat, stay low, and just pulse it out. Hello, lower body right here, warming up for 12, 11, 10, shoulder soft, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, nice, fold over your legs. Take a big breath in through your nose, open your mouth, big exhale, out your mouth. <sighs> Swing to the right, slide your left leg back. Long lunge. If you'd like to push off those back toes, take a couple rocks forwards and backwards, warming up those hips and also that back ankle. Good, stretch both legs straight, hop your back foot in a little bit, fold over that front thigh. Maybe give your head and neck a little shake here. Maybe take another exhale out your mouth, whatever you need. Take it back into a lunge. We're gonna set up for eight push-ups. Right leg steps to plank. Three, two, here we go. Down, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, step your left foot between your hands. Long lunge, left side. You might push off those back toes and take a couple rocks. Warming up that back ankle, mobilizing your hips a little bit. And stretch both legs long, hop your back foot in a little. Fold over that front leg. Again, easy neck, easy shoulders. Maybe an exhale or two out your mouth. <sighs> Take it back into a lunge. We have one more set of push-ups. Left leg steps to plank. Three, two, here we go. Down, eight, seven. Now you can always modify these and come to your knees. Five four, or even just hold plank position. Three, two, downward dog, push into your hands, lift your hips high, pedal out your legs, shake out your head, keep those little movements happening as you walk your hands and feet together. Soften your knees in this forward fold, or reach behind you and release your fingers. Chest expansion. Try and squeeze your shoulder blades together to get wider across your collarbones. Tuck your chin slightly to lengthen the back of your neck. And then your choice, we're here for a couple of breaths. You can stay still or move around, whatever feels good in your body. Breathe for five, four, three, two, release. Shake it out, roll up to stand. Shake it out a little more. Sip of water if you need it, towel off if you need to. We are going in. Today, we have two chunks, three exercises three times, followed by an ab exercise and a cardio exercise that we are doing once. So we're gonna start with our first chunk, first exercise, either two weights or one heavy weight. I'm gonna use one heavy weight. Toes are out, heels are in. We're gonna take a plie squat with no arms and then a plie squat with a bicep curl. So either one heavy weight or two weights. If you're using two weights, palms will face forward so you're ready and set up for that bicep curl. We're gonna do this 10 times. Let's grab your weight or weights. Five, toes out, heels in. Four, chest stays lifted. Three, two, here we go. One squat with no arms. Get low, come up and squeeze your tush. Same squat, but this time as you come up, give me a bicep curl. Good, one. One with no arms. One with that curl. Two, keep it going. Down, push through those feet to stand. Pull your belly in. Three. Four. 
four, nice. Halfway there, five more. Five. Four. Three. Two, last one. Squat to stand, add that curl. Beautiful, set down that way. Nice. All right, moving right along. Heavy-ish, we have two rows into a squat thrust. Now, knees will be bent, spine is long. Try not to round your upper back. Shoulder blades are together the whole time. Palms face each other with that weight. You're gonna give me two rows. You'll set your hands down. You can either jump to plank and jump back in or step to plank and step back in. You'll stand all the way up and then reset. So we've got two rows, hands down, step or jump, step or jump, stand up and reset. We're gonna do that eight times eight times. Grab your weights, heavy-ish. We'll start standing. Five, four, now keep that spine long. Three, knees bend, two, palms face each other. One, give me two rows, squeeze those shoulder blades. Good, hands to the floor, step or jump back, step or jump in, stand all the way up, and then reset, knees bend. Two rows, hands down. Step or jump back, step or jump in, stand all the way up, all the way up, and then reset, bend those knees. Two rows. Step or jump back. From the floor, stand all the way up, and then reset, that was it. Two rows. Hands down, step or jump. Stand all the way up. Reset, beautiful, halfway there. Two rows. Down and out, in and up, reset. Last three, down and out, in and up, reset. Two, down and out, in and up, reset. One more, two rows, down and out, Come all the way in, up to stand, and rest. Gorgeous. Set down those weights. All right. Last exercise in this first circuit. We're stepping to the right, feet together. Stepping to the left, feet together. Heaviest weights on this. Now, when you step out, try not to take your weight into that leg. I want you to find equal weight on both feet. We'll take a squat. You'll bring your feet together. Take a squat. So you're just barely wider than those hips. Try not to go too wide. Equal weight on both feet. Feet together. Right is one, left is two. We're going to 12. Let's grab some heavyish weights. Five, four, stepping to the right. Three, not too wide. Two, one, equal weight on both feet. You're going straight down, straight up, feet together. Same thing here. Straight down, straight up, open left. Back to center. That's two, open right. Back to center. Three. Good. Four, notice how you're breathing. Now I want you to keep your heels down. Only go as low as you can go with your heels staying grounded. Good. Four more. Stepping right. This is four, counting down. Three, 
When those feet come together, we're hitting those inner thighs a little more. Two. Last one, left side. One, feet together. Rest. Okay, towel off, grab water. That's our circuit, short and sweet. We're gonna run through that two more times. Starting with play squat, play squat to curl, play squat, play squat to curl. 10 times. One heavy weight or two weights, palms facing forward. Let's get ready, second set. Five, four, toes out, heels in. Three, two, keep that chest lifted. One, give me a squat, no arms. Push through those feet, zip up through your inner thighs. Now add that bicep curl. Beautiful. Uh, again, no arms. Add that curl. No arms. Add that curl. No arms. Add that curl. Halfway there, five more like that. Five. Good. Four. Three. You got it, last set right here. One with no arms, one with arms, and rest. Good. Now, this is our second time through. Adjust your weight if you need to. Go heavier or lighter, we've got those two rows. Hands down, step or jump. You're coming all the way up to stand. This is just to give your back a little break. And then we reset eight times. Let's grab our weight. Five, four, starting with those rows. Three, knees bent, two, spine long. One, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Hands down, shoot back, shoot in, stand all the way up. That's your little back break right here. Reset, two rows. Hands down, step or jump, step or jump back in, stand up, reset. Good. When you bend over for those rows, make sure you're sending your butt back. You're not dipping your shoulders forward. Halfway there, four more. So butt pulls back, two rows. Three more, three, last two, Woo. one more round, one, and Rest. Okay. Take a breath. While you breathe, real quick, something to remember for next time on that one. When you bend over for those rows, try not to just bend your upper body, right? This happens from your hips. You want your hips to pull back to take you into that shape, spine is long. So instead of just your upper body, you're trying to lengthen from tail to head. Just something to think about for next time. I'll remind you, we've got our squats, right, center, left, center. We're going for 10, sorry, 12. <laughs> Grab those weights, five, four, 
three, starting to the right, two, not too wide, one, equal weight on both feet, straight down. Come back to center, straight down. Really bending those knees, as long as those heels stay grounded. Left, two, right, three, nice and smooth. I want you to notice what's going on with your abdominals. Keep your belly pulling in. It's gonna get a, give you a lot of support, a lot of strength. Almost there, we have four more. Four. Three. Two. One more, left side. One, come center, and yes. Set down those weights. That was great. We're through round two. Have a moment. Water, tell off. We have one more time through. Same rules apply. Adjust those weights as needed. Last set, maybe you're feeling it. You're gonna bump it up. Maybe you're gonna stay the same. Maybe you're gonna go a little lighter. One weight, cradle it. Two weights, palms forward. One with no arms, one with that curl. 10 times, last set. Five, four, toes out, heels in. Three, two, here we go. Play squat. This time add that curl. Lots of abdominals here to get back up. One. Two. Three. Good. Four. Notice how you're breathing. Three more sets. Two more. Last one. Add that curl. Yes. Okay. <laughs> this is our checkoff round. Once you do it, we are done with it. Check that one off. Two rows, plank in and up. Getting to plank either with a jump or a step. We're gonna do that eight times. Decide on your weight. Let's grab that weight. Now remember, you're bending over from your hips and knees. Hips pull back, knees bend, spine is long. Try not to bend over from just dropping your head. Here we go. Five, four, three. So right here, hips pull back, knees bend. Two, let's hit it, two rows. Yes, yes. Hands down, find plank, come back in. Stand all the way up. So your heart should pull forward as you lean into that pitch for your row. Step or jump. All the way up to stand. Reset. Three. Reset. Four. Halfway there, four more, five, going to eight, six, those abdominals are working hard to support your back, reset, seven,
Last one right here. Eight. Stand all the way up, finish it. Woo! And rest. That was excellent. Check that one off. Towel off, grab water. I'm dripping. Woo! We're gonna finish with those squats. One wide, one narrow. 12 times. Breathe. I'll give you 10. Nine. Eight, you decide on that weight. Seven, we're slowing things down, so keep breathing. Six. Five, let's get ready. Four. Three. Two. Here we go, not too wide. Straight down on both feet. Come back to center. One, step left. Good. Two. Again, check out those abdominals. Three, that's what's supporting your spine. Four. Five. Halfway, six more. Last three. Two. One more to the left. One. And done. Yes. That first round of three exercises three times is over. Take a little longer rest. Awesome work. This is where we move to our one ab exercise, one cardio exercise. We're gonna do those once, let them go and move on. For our ab exercise, we're coming onto our back. Supta sit-ups. Show you what that looks like. We're gonna come down and find Supta Baddha Konasana in our legs, reclined bound angle. That means soles of your feet together, knees wide. From here, we're gonna take 15 crunches. I want you to think of lifting straight up to the ceiling instead of rounding in towards your hip bones. So chest and face lift up to the ceiling. You're trying to hover those shoulder blades and back down. We're gonna go for 15. At the end of those, we'll stay lifted. We'll take 15 pulses. At the end of those, we'll reach and hold for 15 seconds. We're just doing that once. Hands behind your head, soles of your feet together, knees wide. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, crunch up and down. Two and down. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, good, nine, ten, five more, then we pulse, last five, four, three, two, last one, stay up there, little pulses, pulse for 15, 14, 13, exhale, exhale, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four more. Then we hold. Three, two, stay up there. Reach your arms forward. Hold. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Squeeze those abs. Nine, eight, seven, six. Lift a little higher. Five, four, three, two, and release. Shake it out. We're staying on the ground for our cardio burst. So, when you're ready, stay on the floor, just flip around to all fours, face any direction. We have one minute on the clock for our cardio burst. We have a push-up and then 10 mountain climbers. So, it looks like this. One push-up, 
Right is one, left is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna pyramid up. So when you get to your next set of push ups, you're gonna add one, two push ups, ten mountain climbers, three push ups, ten mountain climbers. We're gonna keep adding on for one minute. Now, again, right leg is one, left leg is two on those mountain climbers. You're gonna give me ten and then go right into your next set of push ups. Add a push up every time. We're gonna go at our own pace here, starting with one push up, three, two, here we go. One push up, 10 mountain climbers. Two push ups, 10 mountain climbers, and then just keep adding on at your own pace. Halfway there, 30 seconds to go. We're only doing this once. Ten seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Woo, yes. Shake it out. That whole first chunk is done. Take your time. Towel off, grab water. While you breathe, I'll show you what's coming up. Single leg deadlift. Now I'll give you a couple options. I'm gonna use a weight in my right hand as I lift my right leg. Left hand can come wherever you're comfortable. Tiny bend in that front knee. This is the same as when we took those rows and pitched forward. You're gonna think of your hips. That left hip pulls back, left knee bends a little, and then we're coming all the way up to stand, feet together. Weight in your right hand, right leg lifts, or you can stand in front of a bed, a sofa, a chair, same thing, right arm reaches, right leg lifts, make sure you're far enough away so you have to reach that right arm forward so that your back stays long. We're trying to prevent that hunch. Back stays long, you're coming all the way up to stand with your feet together. Weight in your right hand if you want it, right hand reaches for the bed, chair, or desk if you're cool with that. Five, four, three, Two, here we go. We're only doing eight. We're only doing eight. Forgot to tell you that. Pitching forward. We're really going for balance and control up to stand. Good. Pitching forward. Up to stand. So the point of having that bed or chair in front of you is to make sure your spine stays long. Four more. Four, three, two, one more. Rest, good. If you're using a weight, set it down, take a rest. We're gonna do the same thing left side. Make sure you're far enough away from the bed to really reach if you're using the bed or chair or table. That weight is in your left hand if you're using that weight. Five, we're going for eight. Four, working that control. Three, left leg, left arm. Two, here we go. Tiny bend in that front knee. Come all the way up, feet come together. Good. Two, good. Three. It's okay if you fall out. Just get right back in. Five. Two more. Good, one more. 
Yes, that's it. Set that weight down. Okay. Last exercise in the circuit, tricep extensions. We're going for 12. We're going to cradle that weight above us. Elbows bend, stretch those arms straight. Challenging part, especially if you have tight shoulders, is to keep those elbows squeezing in. You want to keep squeezing those elbows in on the way down and up. I would go medium-ish, maybe even light. You decide. We're going to go for 12 of these. Five. I'm going to use this. Four. Three. Two. Here we go. Squeeze those elbows in. Exhale, stretch, 12. Bend. Good, and the speed is great. We're controlling the down, pushing up with a big exhale. Eight more. Last four, Ooh. three, these get hard quick. Two, finish it out, one more. Yes, set down that weight. Shake out your shoulders, fabulous. Cool, so nice and smooth. We're going for strength. We're gonna go back to those deadlifts. If you use the chair table the first round and wanna try a weight, feel free. If you want to swap and use the bed or table or chair, feel free. Right side. Right hand has that weight or right arm is reaching forward. Right leg lifts. We're going for eight. Three. Two. Here we go. No rush. Over. Up. One. Over. Two. Three, four, five. Take your time. We're going for eight, six, one more. Good. If you're using the weight, set it down and breathe. We're going to switch to that left side. Five, four, three, two, eight times. Tiny bend in that right knee. Eight, seven, work your balance. Six, five. Four, that looks really good. Three. Two. Rest. Good. Beautiful form. All right, tricep extensions. Second set. You decide on that weight. Bending and stretching. Going for 12, five, four, three, two. Here we go. Squeeze those elbows in. Exhale, one, two, three. Add a tiny bend in your knees here. Four, and try and pull your belly in a little more. Five. Again, when we have tight short shoulders, sometimes the tendency is to take it into our lower back. So with that tiny bend in your knees, try and flatten out that lower back as much as you can. Woo! Four more. Four. Three. Two, last one. Yes. Woo! That is tough. Shake it out. Water if you need it. We just have one more round. You guys are doing great. Single leg deadlift, right and left, triceps. That's going to finish out this chunk. 
with or without a weight, reaching for that bed, chair, or table, you decide. Right arm, right leg, last set. Five, four, three, two, here we go. Take your time. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, one more. Good, set that weight down. You guys are looking great, just something to think about. Make sure you pitch over in one piece and come up in one piece instead of half, 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 half. Everything together. Other side, left hand, left leg. Five, four, three, two, here we go. Everything pitches forward, everything comes up, one. Two, three, good, that was good. Four, five, going to eight, six, one more. Yes, that looked great. Okay, let's finish it out. Triceps, last set, I know. These are a small muscle. They fatigue quick. Let's push through it 12 times. Five, four, three, two. Here we go, squeeze those elbows in. 12, tiny bend in those knees, 11. 10, 9, 8, let your breath help you, exhale, exhale, 4, 3, 2, yes! Second chunk is done. Now we have our one ab and our one cardio exercise, and then we'll stretch it out. We're coming down to the floor for our ab work. Side plank hip dips. We're only gonna do 10 of these on each side, so I really want you to find a lift underneath that bottom hip as much as possible every time you come up. Let me show you what this looks like. Legs long, feet flexed. Top hand behind your head today. Lift out of that bottom shoulder. Now, this bottom hip, I want you to push that bottom hip as high as you can. Think of rainbow arcing your hips to the ceiling. And then you'll just tap back down and come back up, really trying to lift that bottom hip just 10 times. Legs long, feet flexed. Lift up out of that bottom shoulder, top hand behind your head. Three, two, here we go. Really push up. We're going slow and tap. Push up. Tap two, push up, three. Can you keep your legs straight? Four, five, six, going to 10. If that dip is too much, just come up and hold side plank. Nine, and rest, breathe, good. Now another option, if it's really, really hard on that bottom shoulder, you can come into a full plank. Just don't touch the floor, come down a little bit and up if that's better on your shoulder. Otherwise, on that forearm, legs long, feet flexed, top hand behind your head. Three, lift up out of that bottom shoulder. Two, legs are straight. One, let's hit it. Really lift up, little tap. Lift up, little tap. Three, four, try not to roll back. If anything, roll forward a little. Five, 
six, seven, eight, nine. You got it. Last one. Big lift and rest. Fabulous. We're going to finish with our cardio burst. Stand up, towel off, grab water. Final push. It's just a minute long. We have two skater hops and then side knees. Skater hop, skater hop. You're doing that twice. And then you're going to give me some high knees to get to the other side. You'll repeat. Skater hop, skater hop. And then high knees to travel to the other side. Go at your own pace. One minute on the clock. Two skater hops into traveling knees. Three, this is it. Two, let's go. One, two skater hops. And then high knees to the other side. Skater hop right, left, travel right. Skater hop left, right, travel left. Good. Now go at your own pace. Skater hop twice, high knees once. That's it. Woo! Find that dig. Yeah, this is to that finish line. This is to the top of the mountain. When you know you're a little tired, but you know you can do it. Woo! Yes, yes. 20 seconds to go. Woo. You got it. Let's hit it. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Yes. Another workout done. Another mountain climbed. Catch your breath, grab water. That was a tough one. We'll stretch it out. Let your breath slow down. Only when you're ready, meet me on the ground in a butterfly. Slowing down that breath. Give your shoulders a little roll. Your neck and head a little sway. In through your nose, out through your mouth with that breath. If it feels good to flutter your legs, Go for it. And then today, take those legs a little further out in front so you're more in a diamond shape. I want you to take your hands, dive underneath your ankles, and then grab wherever you can on your feet. And then pull your head towards your heels. At the same time, think of pulling your lower back towards the wall behind you. So we're just trying to create space across your low back, between those shoulder blades. And release and come up. Hands behind you, feet flat on the ground. Just let your knees sway side to side. Keep slowing down your breath. Good, let's move through some easy lunges. Swing your legs around, step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. I want you to walk your hands as far forward as you can. And then just relax your head and shoulders. That's it, walk back in, swap out those legs. Right leg back, left foot to the outside of your left hand. Walk your hands as far forward as you can. Easy shoulders, easy breath. Good. Walk your hands back inside your left foot. We're going to add our back leg. So take your back foot to the outside of that other hand. Prayer squat. Press your knees open wide with your elbows. Bring your left fingers down to the floor. Use that left arm to push your left knee open. Reach your right arm to the sky. Five, four, three, two, nice swap sides. Right arm inside that right leg so you can push that right knee open. Reach your left arm up for five, four, three, Two good fingers to the floor, straighten your legs, drop your head, sway from side to side, and then keep that little sway 
as you roll up to stand. So just make it feel good. A little sway right and left as you roll up to stand. And once you do, shake it out. We'll take two big breaths. Inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, let it go. One more inhale, arms up. This time, press your palms. Exhale, take that energy with you. Well done.